learn without school. If children don't go to school, how will they learn? I mean, they will learn some things, but what about the more challenging subjects? This is one of the most common doubts people have about self-directed education and unschooling. We decided to ask some unschoolers themselves. So something that people ask me a lot as an unschooler is how do you learn things like math or reading um, if no one is sitting down and forcing you to learn them. My name is Brenna McBroom and I'm an adult unschooler currently living in Atlanta, Georgia. I work full time as a ceramic artist. Hi, my name is BJ Mumford. I was fortunate enough to never spend a day on the bus or in the classroom. I was still able to learn everything I've needed. I'm currently a uh, small business owner. I run a company called Play Practice Basketball. I'm John, I'm 11. I live in Wyoming, USA, and I'm a lifelong unschooler. So when I want to learn things, I just ask a parent in my life, either if we can find a class on that specific thing, or like a YouTube video, or some kind of cool experiment, or a fun way to learn it. I just go to my mom and be like, Mom, can I help me learn about this? And we would go down these deep rabbit holes of just everything that I want to learn about. You find all this information on this thing you really care about and you just like immerse yourself in it. Anything that I needed in my life that I was intrinsically motivated to learn about, I, uh, that was something that I was able to pick up easily and quickly through uh, mentorship, through working with my parents, and just through, you know, sitting down with some books or some YouTube videos and kind of doing self-study. When I need to learn something, it just comes up in my life and I'm like, can I learn this? And it just happens. I just learn it. Uh, I know that nobody has to force you to learn because all human beings have a deep desire to learn, to discover. Really found that the, the voluntary aspect of learning is one of the most important parts. I don't, don't do special things and my mom doesn't tell me where to go or what to do. I chose to do Aikido when I was really young, and then I chose to do karate and then started teaching it. And those are the kind of opportunities that like, I only had because I was an unschooler, because I had all this extra time and started like teaching and working for the martial arts dojo at like 15. I learned to read at a very young age. I think I was reading novels by the time I was four or five maybe. Um, I wanted to really like learn how to read Harry Potter was my goal. I learned reading and writing by playing the game World of Warcraft and not having my dad around to type in to communicate with people. That was something I wanted to learn and I just did it and I have no real memories of struggling or being frustrated. I'm not the fastest reader but I, I have a passion for literature that um, I feel like if I went to school, I would not have. I never really had an issue learning how to read. And me and my brother actually learned it through um, game chats while we were playing video games. I really wasn't interested in reading very much until I was nine or 10. When I was 10, I really wanted to read this book suddenly. There was a book, it was like a novel, and I really wanted to read it because it was about horses which I loved. So I taught myself to read in about, I felt like I learned to read in a day. That's what it felt like. So I think when things become necessity, that's when we learn how to do them. I'm grateful for my own path of education that went through that and now uh, being able to affect one small aspect of kids' lives through sports and playing basketball, something they love and helping them learn something they love without having to coerce them, uh, having to find ways to motivate them to want to learn it. They really have that desire uh, within themselves. And it was really awesome and it helped me get all these interests in space, science, martial arts, Japanese culture and weaponry, weaponry, just so much stuff. And paleontology was my stuff back in the day, so yeah. I think one of the main benefits that I feel like I got out of unschooling was the ability to learn how to learn things. So the ability to pick up new skills quickly and new knowledges quickly and to feel confident in my ability to do that. This video was possible thanks to the Alliance for Self-Directed Education and everyone who responded to our call for crowdsourced videos. We need your support to continue creating these videos. So please share this with your friends 
and click on the links in the description to find us on social media and support Edit, a media platform and service of education and transformation.